Hi guys, it's Anne, Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a project share for you today. So I've been working on this Willow Lane project for a while now. And I'm super excited that I finally got to show you what I am sending to my friend and pal. Um, fairy kisses to you, who is Amy. And I'll leave her information down below. Um... She and I agreed to do a binder mail with Willow Lane, and yes. So you've been following along, and you've been seeing my project shares with the embellishments, and, you know, I kind of took my time with this one, so, um, yeah, I created a lot of great stuff, so I'm really happy with how everything came out. So I'm just going to show you some of the items before I get into the binder mail. So this is a bag topper that I had created and I'll leave that video down below. I had created these teacup embellishments and these were 100% inspired by Liz Russell here on YouTube and Instagram. And she had created these teacup um, embellies using the Tim Holtz Tea Time Bigs dies. And I was so inspired and I had to create my own. And I love that, that how these came out. And on the back we have some Maggie Holmes layered flowers. Um, I did curl up the edges a little. You can't see it because it's all squished in the packaging. But uh, nonetheless, I love how these came out. These are on a large Graphic 45 tag die. And I love this tag die for packaging. Um, I'm just thought this was cute I just put it together with a little um what do you call that like a little tab and I just sealed a eight and a half by eleven bag and I just put it together so yep I love how this came out um I have a little goodie bag here I'm not gonna open the goodie bag but I have another bag topper here that I created I also created this little tassel bead tassel and then I just attached the the gift the bag topper with this little uh, clip here, so my pal can use the bag topper again. I love that. This is a little flower cluster that I did. I used crepe paper, my sewn rosettes, and I just layered it up. Tucked a little Maggie Home flower on the bottom, and super cute packaging. Um, I'm just gonna open the bag. So in this bag, I have, sorry for the crinkly, my banner. And this baggie that I created is actually using a die that I have in my stash. Um, I wanted to use some of the paper. I just layered up some ephemera from the collection, you know, a little bunny because Easter just passed and I just did a little stitching. Not straight, but you know, a little accent. And I have my cute little banner in here. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you to check out that video. It's super fun and cute. I am not going to take it out just because it's all tucked in there. I hope my pal likes it. Okay, we got that. And then I have this really cute box that I created. I had shown this in a pre previous video as well. Well, um, this time around I just added the um, tool pop pump trim because... It's pink, and inside I just have some goodies. I have some stone rosettes, some chipboard stickers, some tool pom poms, and I hope she likes it. And then the big daddy, we've got this gorgeous, um, oops, sorry, shaker binder mail. Now I can't close it; it's too big so chunky. I don't know how to do skinny projects, but I love how this came out. So the front is a tool shaker and I did lay the stars on both sides on the front and the back. I love that star trim. I use it so much on this project. It's so perfect. Uh, I just made a little cluster over here. Um, I'll just shake out the sequence, you know, layered up some die cuts put a little swan from Hobby Lobby over here, a little bow, and then layered over here some prima flowers. I tucked the little pearls on the side. I'll add a little pink leaf. Um, the paper is from the Willow Lane collection. 
And here's a little bow that I had created, a chunky glitter bow. Um, this is my pal's name. And then the back is fairly simple. I kept it uh, simple, just using the um, this beautiful paper from the collection. This little handmade with love is a label from April Lander Designs, and I'll leave her link down below. Love adding these on all my projects. Um, I did make this binder a ribbon closure only just because I wanted to pack it kind of a little bit compressed. I just hid the um, ribbon with some paper and I love the just like the little whimsy that it adds. So here we go with the binder. Um, I just add a little die cut cluster here. I added one of my favorite flourish um, thickers, some goodies for my pal. And here I have a little vellum shaker. I love that how this came out. I used one of the uh, die cuts from the collection, some of that star trim. I used some of these um, thickers from the Flourish collection, and I love how whimsical they are. And who doesn't love a shaker pocket? Love this. And then here are some embellishments. I'm just going to open the binder. I think it's just a lot easier for me to flip through. Um, here are some floral embellishments. This, these are some tool papers that I just cut out using a nesting die and then layered my stone rosettes and then tucked the leaf underneath just to make it like a little floral embellishment. Perfect for spring. Here are some of my gift bag toppers that I am gifting her I created for her super cute these are my um, award embellies and this video has received so much love on YouTube and, and Instagram um, I just put them in a paper bag and then I just layered up folded a scrap piece of paper and then just punched some holes to fit in the binder this one I did some stamping on vellum and on a vellum on a uh, what is this called? Silophine? No. A glassine bag. Yes, a glassine bag. I did some stamping with the Willow Lane um, stamps. Um, I used some rose gold embossing powder, and then I just used some vellum stickers on top just to put baggies. I thought I'd share some that I had in my stash. We agreed to swap memory decks cards and I decided to package mine up like Adriana Alvarez. She always seems to stitch them so I thought it was cute to just separate them. Here's my first memory decks card. Sorry for the glare guys. I added some pom pom trims. I did a little stitching on the bottom. I added some thickers. I added a little pearl trim. A little swan with a little bow. And here is my other memory dex card. I just cut out this um, fringe um, out of different papers in this collection. And then I just used one of my sewn rosettes and this butterfly actually flaps his wings. I added some word beads, always dream, and some enamel dots, a little layering piece. And then here's the back. Again, using April Lander's um, Labels, I love them. They're so pretty. A little stitching. And then we have uh, my little heart tassels here. These are my layered hearts. I love how these came out. And I'll link that video down below as well. On the back I have my Movers and Shapers Tim Holtz um, typewriters. Someone had told me that they look like they're smiling. I love that too. So cute. Um, in this little envelope that I used, um, my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch to create, I included some of my layer tags. And these are also shown in a project share, and I'll link that video down below. This is actually one of my favorites. I used a pleated award um, die that I have from Allie. Super cute. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. 
And last but not least, I have my coin embellishments. So fun. And then I just in included a little pocket with some ephemera. I did some die cutting, these words that say Happy Mail. Figured she could use it in a future project. And that is basically it for my project share. I just have to put this back together. I hope my pal um, likes this project. I actually had a lot of fun creating it. Um, and I will see you in the next video, everyone. I hope to have um, a video of my unboxing of Amy's package as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay? I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.